Hey, fellow developers, welcome back to Droid Scripter. Today, we have something exciting to dive into. We'll be creating a YouTube player in your Android app using Jetpack Compose and Kotlin. First, we need to declare user permission for the internet access in our Android manifest. And next, the dependencies implementation for our Android YouTube player. Now, let's delve into the YouTube player composable function. This is where the magic happens. We take in a YouTube video ID and a lifecycle owner as parameters. The Android view composable is used to embed a native Android YouTube player seamlessly into our compose UI. We initialize the YouTube uplier in the factory lambda. We apply some styling using compose modifiers like fill max width, padding, and clip to give it a clean look with rounded corners. The key part here is the lifecycle integration. We add an observer to the YouTube uplier that listens for lifecycle events. This ensures that the player functions properly throughout the app lifecycle. Upon being ready, 
We load the specified YouTube video using the provided video ID. We also set the initial playback position to 0 seconds. The Adiutuba player int function allows us to handle events such as video playback completion or other interactions. Now, let's run the app and witness our YouTube player in action. And there you have it a YouTube player integrated into your Android app using Jetpack Compose and Kotlin. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, and if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe.